Hey guys, it's Evie. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to do this video because this is <laughs> my very, very last week in my second trimester and God is faithful. I have been saying like in, in probably all of my live videos, <laughs> all of my videos that I post on here, um, in 2019 and 2020, I said that no matter what happens in my life, no matter what outbreaks happen, like I, like no matter what happens, I will always remind myself verbally and mentally that God is faithful. And he is so faithful because Unlike a lot of women that get these really difficult pregnancies, I have not had a difficult pregnancy at all. I've still been able to go to the studio, still been able to write my music, still been able to record my music and um, shoot videos and have fun with my family, enjoy my husband, enjoy so many new blessings that have just happened. Like, out of nowhere I see blessings falling out of nowhere <laughs> but God is so good y'all and I'm just happy I'm so happy uh, I know I, I just told y'all that this is my last week in my second trimester I am 27 my favorite number 27 weeks pregnant and man what can I say now I can feel, I can really feel the baby moving and I can really feel the baby uh, kicking and I mean now the baby's eyes, in this week, the 27th week of pregnancy, the baby's eyes are opening and I I shined a light, I shined a flashlight from my phone one day I was sitting in the car waiting on my husband and I shined the light on my belly and the baby moved. It's like the baby responded. And so I'm guessing that the baby's eyes are open now. And so he or she can see light and can feel it. And it's just so amazing. And we have been able to speak to the baby and the baby responds back. I've been speaking and singing to the baby my entire pregnancy, but it is so exciting that the baby actually gets to respond now because the baby's little brain has just been growing and growing and growing each and every single day but for us to have that connection so early with the baby like it's an unborn child the baby is around this time 14 inches long and two pounds weighing a whopping two pounds which four weeks ago the baby did not weigh um two pounds at all the baby weighed one pound so this is double like a whole nother pound added on to the baby and maybe even more but on average the baby weighs around two pounds at 27 weeks and um yeah it's been amazing my i have not had a difficult pregnancy and i just wanted to get on here and update y'all because i know i've been gone for so long but i'm gonna tell you i have been gone for so long because I've just been enjoying my husband, enjoying my life, enjoying my music. My music has taken, man, has taken off, has taken off. It is doing well on, it's doing well on Christian radio and gospel radio, uh, which has made me, um, I, I, I'm kind of making history by the grace of God because I'm a African American female. Not that that has anything to do with anything, but I'm a young black girl from Memphis, Tennessee, and I'm I'm so passionate about Jesus. I don't want to stick with just gospel. I don't want to stick with just anything. I want to do Jesus music for everybody. No matter the sound, no matter the instruments, I want to do healing music. And God has definitely blessed me to be able to do that. And all this time, still, I'm pregnant. <laughs> And so, I, like I said, I've still been able to work. I have not thrown up at all, uh, which is a blessing. I drink my gallon of water, and I'm pretty sure that that is, that is a big reason as to why I do not feel sick or nauseous or 
dizzy because I drink a lot of water each and every single day. Um, and now, like I was telling my husband the other day, if I don't drink the amount of water that my body needs and the amount of water that the baby needs, like my body, I will feel extremely dizzy. It was one night before I went to sleep and I was, I took off my makeup and I was washing my face and, and I brushed my teeth and I was like, oh my goodness. It was almost, it was the weirdest thing. It was almost like I could feel my blood pumping directly to the baby. And, I was, and, and it felt like I was dehydrated because obviously I hadn't drank um, enough water. And what triggered me to start drinking a gallon a day, which even after even before pregnancy you like it's recommended that you drink a gallon a day because your body needs a lot of water you know so i told my husband how i was feeling he was like and and i said maybe i need a gatorade or something because y'all i really felt dehydrated i felt like my mouth was dry i it was a lot going on and my husband said well are you drinking enough water and i was like I don't know like I, I felt like I was drinking a lot of water honestly to me like <laughs> four cups is enough for me like if I drink four cups of water if I drink a water a cup of water with a meal each meal uh, which honestly on average I only eat two meals a day but if I drink a cup of water like a full cup of water with all of my meals per day I should be fine child not when you're pregnant when you're pregnant you have to drink like because you're drinking like your blood has to pump and it has to constantly pump and you're literally creating another human being so child that was a slap in the face for me that night and it was my husband asking that question that really motivated me and it made me think like am i drinking enough water and so I, the next day I was on a search for a gallon jug of water and um, I couldn't find none. I couldn't find none in the stores. I couldn't find none. So I looked online and then I was like, I'm not about to spend $40 for a gallon jug of water. Um, and so we, I prayed about it. I don't know. People are like, did you really pray about that? Yes, I did. I prayed about it. And I went to one of my favorite stores one day, Ross. Um, I just love Ross. I don't know. They have all like the, the perfect little shirts with the scriptures and everything. I just love it. But I went to Ross one day and when I was checking out, you know, they have all of that stuff to tempt you before you check out. But guess what they had? A gallon jug of water for um, $10, $9.99. I said, that ain't nothing but the Lord answering prayers. Just ain't that just like God to just make something like that happen. And I was so excited. I was so excited. And I wanted my husband to be so proud of me. <laughs> so I bought two. I bought me one and I bought him one. And uh, he was like, um, maybe whenever we start really drinking water, like, he, he, he actually said it to kind of help me and motivate me to drink the gallon. But now I, it looked like I'm the only one drinking the gallon. <laughs> but um, yeah, God is good. And I got my, my gallon jug and I've been drinking my gallon a day and everything has been perfect. And yeah, the only challenge and it is a challenge. It's not like horrible or anything because I take this over morning sickness and whatever else like happens to women's bodies when they're with child. I take this over any of that stuff any day. But my only challenge has been falling asleep at night, staying asleep because of the it the difficulty of sleeping on my side so for those of you who don't know if you're pregnant the doctor the doctor recommends that you sleep on your side i don't sleep on my side i'm not a side sleeper i'm a back sleeper or a stomach sleeper sleeping on my side has been the most uncomfortable thing 
but only because I just don't like it and I, I never I never do it I don't sleep on my side like that um, my husband makes me feel a lot better of course um, about sleeping on my side though like he'll cuddle with me um, which is very comfortable um, and my one of my supporters got me this pillow child let me tell you thank you thank you so much for buying this pillow for me because you saved my life definitely saved my life because i didn't know what was going on i was like oh my goodness i was getting like this pain like in my inner thighs and i don't know if it's because i it literally started to feel like my body was opening up like two weeks ago it literally started to feel like my body was opening up and another fun fact on the week the day before i recorded do it again music video i had the worst pain in my from my thighs like in my joints though it literally felt like somebody was pulling me apart and i didn't know why it was like a pain that just would not go away and so i prayed about it and my husband looked up some stuff and he showed me and told me what to do and i looked up some stuff of course and everybody was saying the same thing prop up your prop up your legs prop up your feet and sleep with a pillow in between sleep with two three pillows in between your legs and sleep while you're sleeping on your side and i tried it that night that night when i was in all of that pain it worked and of course i was praying that god would just take the pain away and which he did because the next morning i was able to get up and i was fine uh, but this pillow and this pillow child is my best friend i sleep on it my husband sleeps on it is that comfortable <laughs> like when i'll be on one side and he'll just you know lay his head on it or whatever but man that that has been the only challenge my whole pregnancy that's been the only challenge and of course like getting used to getting used to actually having a baby um in your tummy growing and kicking and moving and all this fluid and stuff has made me gain weight and and like you know me wanting what i want to eat and like i try to explain it to my husband and he understands i tell him you know like i really want this when you when you tell me that you're gonna make lamb and asparagus and mashed potatoes for dinner earlier in that day my mind is stuck on that you it ain't no going back we can't change that because <laughs> it is hard it is so hard um i don't know what it is it's just like the body wants what it wants and uh, i'm so grateful that god has blessed me with a pregnancy and with a baby that is not um my baby pretty much takes whatever i eat so the baby is not really you know resisting anything it's like it's not he's not he or she is not making me throw up or feel nauseous about anything that i eat everything has been pretty regular uh but yeah y'all i just wanted to do this video and just let y'all know that the reason why i haven't done any more updates is because i've really been just man resting in god's presence and resting in god's divine will creating this divine life inside of me and it's been amazing and i i mean get married and do things the right way and and pray keep god first like that has been something else like my mama told me i remember before i had my so i had my 20 week anatomy scan seven weeks ago and I remember my mama telling me um, because I was like mama I just want the baby to be healthy and I don't care if it's a boy or a girl I just want the baby to be healthy and she said yeah you know and Lord's willing it will and she said one thing about children they most definitely gonna have you praying and let me tell you I used to pray a lot before I was with child but now that I'm having a child I am praying <laughs> so much i'm praying every, every day about the smallest things lord let my baby have the right fingers and the right toes and just everything i just I, I pray about everything anyway but now i have a little life that is growing on the inside of me and it's amazing it, it's the most amazing feeling to feel the baby move and respond 
to the baby now distinguishes mommy and daddy's voice like he knows he or she knows she knows my voice and she knows her dad's voice and I'm sometimes I get a bit jealous because when my husband come home from work I'm like babe babe comes and he touches my stomach and the baby really starts moving and I'm like I've been trying to get you to move all day <laughs> But all is well, y'all. And I just want y'all to just keep us in your prayers. Keep me in your prayers. Keep my music in your prayers. My family. All of whatever God has in store for us. Just please keep us in your prayers. Because God is so good. And we love Jesus. And we, we just want to live a life that's pleasing to Him. We don't care about, you know, it's not our desire to do what the world wants us to do we i literally married somebody that is just as gifted just as passionate um and i'm not talking just spiritual gifts i'm i'm, I'm well no i am talking spiritual gifts i'm not talking physical just physical gifts but my husband he's so strong-minded and he's just so comforting and Sometimes if I'm worrying about something, which I know, I know the word tells us, do not be anxious about anything. But sometimes in life, your flesh, if, if you're in a situation like your flesh just makes you worry or some anything can happen, some something can happen or something, you know, anything can happen that'll just make me feel, I don't know, kind of insecure or I don't know, like. I don't know. I, I can feel when the enemy is trying to take my peace. That's what I'm trying to say. I can feel when the enemy is trying to take my peace or trying to make me create scenarios in my head that are not true, which will try to make me actually make them manifest. And my husband hates that. He hates it. I hate it too. You know, but one thing I have learned about being married to my husband is he is not the one to just sit and dwell on something that has not happened like he gets me out of he gets me out of that stuff quickly and he tells me like you got to chill out you have to trust God nothing in life that's happening right now is a surprise to God God knows everything he knows everything and everybody is omniscient and omnipresent and I'm gonna tell you something else I, I highly recommend that you get married <laughs> before bringing a child into this world because um you want that not it's not just about the commitment but it's about the support it's about having a constant support um that is just beyond this world like god talks about um well paul in philippians uh verse six through seven four verse six through seven um is it five philippians five I think it's Philippians 5 verse 6 through 7 um, but he says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving make your request known to God and the peace of God the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds and that is a scripture that I have been constantly just replaying in my mind no matter what happens no matter how the enemy tries to take my mind, no matter how the enemy tries to persuade me into thinking something or persuade me into feeling some type of way, I remember that scripture and it is, man, done miracles for me. But you know, that's what the word tells us to do whenever the enemy comes and tries to attack you mentally, physically, and spiritually. You need to know God's word to be able to speak it over yourself and over your life. And I, I honestly think, well, this is a whole nother video, but I do think that that is probably the reason why a lot of us end up in unwanted situations maybe because we don't know God's word enough to speak it over our lives in times when it we really need to speak it <sighs> one more thing one last thing I'm gonna show y'all my belly oh my goodness y'all I I have gotten so look at me I'm struggling to get up <laughs> this is my belly at 20 let me stand up a little more I like my little hippie pants. This is my belly at 27 weeks. And as you see, I don't have no stretch marks so far. Thank the Lord. 
uh, because listen, I literally get um get up and I rub my belly, I go to sleep and I rub my belly. <laughs> I'm always rubbing my belly, but this is my baby. This is my baby bump at 27 weeks. Um, the baby is really low. Um, I've kind of been having certain symptoms, like crazy symptoms, but I guess I'll just save that for another video, like the myths and stuff about like if you're having a boy or girl. We don't know what we're having still. We're gonna do the gender reveal this weekend, which I am so, so excited for. This Sunday, we are gonna know the sex of the baby. <sighs> um... And I'm, I'm, I'm so excited, y'all. <laughs> I'm so excited. But I love y'all. Thank you so much to everybody that watched this entire video. I love you. I love you. I love you. Keep us in your prayers. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos. Mamas, if there are any like items from Amazon or Target that I need to know about, please let me know. I am a new mom. <laughs> it's not much I know about, but I do like stuff that's convenient. Um, I like things that are that are convenient, you know. So please let me know in the comment section down below what worked for you, what didn't work for you, what I need to buy, what I don't need to buy. Let me know. Help a sister out. I love y'all so much, and I cannot wait to see y'all in the next video. Peace.